Hey guys, how's it going? Kuderman here. In today's video, we're actually going to be building our first mobile app. Um, so I'm going to go through the process of setting up the environment, the tools that we're going to use, and then actually running the app on your phone. So let's hop over to the computer and get started. All right, so here we are over on the computer. The first step, of course, is to start Xcode. But if for some reason you don't have Xcode, simply just go to the App Store, type in Xcode here, and you'll be navigated to the uh, Xcode version. Always have the latest version from here, or you can download the beta versions from the developer library. Uh, but I recommend using this just because it's stable and has been obviously been tested. Uh, it is about 11 gig as you can see here, so it's definitely gonna take a minute to download. Uh, so get it started and then go grab some food, come back and you'll be ready to go. So here we are inside of Xcode, and this is basically the welcome screen when you launch Xcode if you set it up to do that. So what we want to first do is click create a new Xcode project. We want to select iOS and we want to select app. Uh, you can explore these others if you want, but we want to keep it simple for right now. And we want to name our uh, app, which we're going to name it tip calculator. And we're going to set storyboard and we'll leave all this stuff alone. Make sure these are unchecked and click next. Navigate to a place where you want it to live and uncheck source control if it is checked for some reason. And finally click create. And in a couple seconds, you'll be inside of Xcode in your project. So here we have our first iOS app. So you'll see a couple of files over here. We're just going to focus on two in particular, the view controller where we're going to write our code and the storyboard, which is actually our view for our application. So as you can see, we just have a basic design here or really no design. It's just a view. Uh, if we come up here to this section here and you click on this, you can choose different devices. And in this case, I'm going to choose the iPhone 12 and I'm gonna click the play button, which runs the application, or you can hit Command R, and the same thing will happen. Uh, the first time you do this, it may take some time to run. In this case, it was fast, because it already was kind of running in the background. And you'll see we have our application, which, you know, you essentially have built a full iPhone application, but let's certainly take it further. So let's first start by clicking on the stop so that we're not using resources and we're gonna start laying out the application. So if you come up here to the plus icon, this is the component viewer, and you'll see in here you have all sorts of different components. So we need a button to calculate our tip. Click on that again. We need uh, two text fields, one for, the to one for the bill amount and one for the tip. And then we need a label for the actual you know, final value, and then we can also throw an additional label in there for the tip amount, just to see not the percentage, but how much the tip would be if you were gonna be paying it in cash. So let's first start off by, if you click on this text field, uh, you can drag them wherever you want. I'm just gonna make this, you know, lay this out a little bit better uh, so it's easier to work with, but don't feel obligated to have to design something cool here. That's not the point of this lesson. This is basically just to get up to speed on Xcode and building your first app. Okay, so now I have my text fields laid out and I've laid up my button as well. Uh, if you go in here into the attributes inspector, You'll see a whole bunch of different options, but if you scroll down here, you can set the background color and let's just set it to a red for whatever reason. And let's set the text color to a white color uh, just to give it a little bit of style. And then we have our two labels here. So let's go ahead and drag those up and we're gonna set some default values just so when we're designing, we actually know what these are. So this would be the bill total and this would be the tip amount. And I'm just gonna move these around. Uh, you don't have to do any of this. This is just you know basically making it look nicer and easier to work with. So I wanna make this bill total just a little bit bigger. So go ahead and you can click these arrows here or you can click on this text icon and you can set it to something different. Uh, let's make it just a little bit bigger. And then now we have, so now we have our bill total, our tip amount and our two fields. And then let's just add two more uh, objects. Let's add one label and another label. And one of these labels we're gonna set as a dollar sign and the other we're gonna set as a percentage. So let's go ahead and drag those up. And as you drag around, you'll notice these uh, blue helper lines. These are actually helping you set up the orientation and layout uh, alignment of these objects. So when I'm here, I know that I'm in the halfway mark of the input field and I'm in the halfway of the dollar sign. So I know that this is aligned right where I need it to be. And go ahead and hit save and run your application. And you'll now see your elements on the screen uh, slightly off center because this is uh, basically auto layout. You're not doing anything with that right now. But you know, basically we have all of our different elements 
Now we're gonna write some code to actually set this up. So now the next step is to write some code. Now you go, you're gonna be writing this inside of the view controller uh, and you can manually type all of this, but there's actually a much easier way to do that. Go ahead and select your storyboard and then come up here and select assistant and it actually will display your code down here or on the right side, depending on how you have your screen set up. And now if I scroll up, I can click on these different elements. And what I'll do is I'll select this, I'll hit control and I'll drag into my code and it's actually gonna pop up and let me enter a variable name for this button. So let's go ahead and name this, uh, let's say calculate tip BTN. All right, and now let's grab this one again control drag, drop it. And now let's name this, uh, let's say bill amount TXT. And then we'll say drag again with control and we'll say, and we'll say tip percent TXT, hit enter or hit connect. And now we have our three uh, elements here. And then lastly, we want to connect our tip amount. So again, control drag, and we'll say tip amount, and this is a label, so LBL, and bill total. All right, so now we have our five elements and we didn't have to write any code. We really just dragged and dropped, but this lets you quickly set up a project. Also, if you had a more complex project, it's easier to manage rather than just typing out all of these. Now, don't worry about what this code is. Uh, we'll go into this in a later lesson. We're just building a basic app, getting our feet wet with app development and you know, essentially building a complete app from start to finish. So one thing I wanna do before I get into more coding is I wanna change this button, uh, this button label. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on it and I'm gonna come over here on the right in the inspector and I'm going to change it to uh, calculate tip. And now you've noticed that we've dragged to create variables, but we also need to actually have an event when you click on this button, it actually does something. So go ahead and click that button, hold control, drag in, and we're going to change this to an action. So change the connection type to action and we're gonna name it uh, let's see, I'll just name it calculate tip. And we can set keep the type as any and everything else can stay the same. And then we'll click on that. And now we have a function here that will fire when we click on this calculate tip button. Okay, so now that we have our function set up, the next thing is to calculate our tip amount and then ultimately our bill total. So the first thing we want to do is we want to calculate the tip amount. And what we're gonna do with, the, now how we're gonna do that is we're going to grab the value from the text field. In this case, that would be the tip percent text. So that's that here. And what we wanna do is we want to cast this to a double, but we're gonna get a couple errors here. Uh, first one is that this text field is of a non-optional type, it has the exclamation point. So we should be providing an optional value or we can simply just put an exclamation point and that tells the compiler, in this case Xcode, that we, uh, we don't care if this, is va is this value is null. Well, you know, we're not ever gonna put a null, so it doesn't matter. And then the next thing you wanna do is you want to unwrap it without an optional value, simply because a same reason, you know, you're essentially you're putting a possible null into a double and that would cause your app to crash. In this case, we know what we're doing, so we're gonna just force it out uh, when you're working on a live application, a complete application, you probably wouldn't do it this way. You wanna make sure that your values are set before you start doing any sort of calculations on them because you don't wanna crash your app. So in order to get the tip percentage, what we're gonna do is, in this case, the person say would have entered 20% in here. We're gonna divide that by 100 and that would get us our decimal place, which in this case, if we were doing 20%, would be 0.2. Now, this is just a comment. That's not actually code, just showing you for an example. But now what I wanna do is I wanna put this in parentheses. But now what I wanna do is I wanna put this in parentheses uh, for just to keep it clean. And I want to multiply the bill amount by this tip percent. So again, I'm gonna put it in to a double and I'm going to unwrap it. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna get me the tip amount, which is how much I would leave for a tip, which is great if you're doing, uh, it, you know, let's say you're leaving it in cash, you need to know how much it is. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna set that into the label. So do tip amount label.text. 
And then inside of quotes, I'm going to do a forward slash, open parentheses, close parentheses, and place that tip amount in there. And just clean up our code by removing that extra line. So now if I come into my project, hit Command R, and I go ahead and type $25, and I say 20%, and I say calculate tip, this tells me that I should leave $5 tip. Okay, that's great, but I still don't know what the bill total is. And I'm sure you can see where this is going. I want to say bill total label dot text. And then inside of quotes, I want to put the same uh, reference. What this is doing is this slash is telling Xcode that I want to put a variable in here, not text, which of course is a string. So what I'm going to do is I want to say tip amount and I want to add the bill amount, which I'm actually going to move this up to its own variable because I'm going to use it twice. And this is just an example of you want to make sure when you're writing code that you're smart about the way you're writing it. Uh, this is not a necessary step. This just keeps our, our code clean. And we want to basically add the bill amount to the tip amount. Let's go ahead and run that. And in the previous steps, I was actually using my keyboard to type, but if I click into these, I will actually get a uh, text field. However, you'll notice that there, I'm actually able to enter text, which of course we don't want. So what we're going to do real quick is we're going to close the pro, they're going to pro, close the preview. We're going to click on this text field. We're going to come over here to keyboard type and we're going to choose decimal pad. And then for the percentage, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select it. We're going to keyboard type and choose decimal pad. And then we're going to run our project again. So now I can come in here and I say my bill is $25. My percentage I want to leave is 20%. Okay, so I need to leave a $5 tip and my total bill is now $30. So there you have it, you built a complete application. Uh, we did some basic math, we set up some variables, we set up some buttons, uh, very light style. Uh, you know, of course, you may not, you probably wouldn't submit an app like this to the App Store, but this gives you the basics of building an application, a functional application, that you could then go and do additional things to. So something I might want to do is these values look really strange not being, uh, you know, actual dollars. So let's go ahead and fix that. Now you notice when I came back into Xcode, things got a little different. And what I mean by that is all of a sudden this moved over to the side. So what I can do is I can click that X, go into viewcontroller.swift, and now I have a full code view. It doesn't really matter how you have it set up. It's however you prefer to work. Okay, so let's go ahead and format this. So we're going to say tip amount, and then we're going to use a currency format which is of type dollar sign and then two decimal places, you know, standard currency format. And what we're gonna do is we're actually going to change this line of code here to that, remove that extra space, and then we're gonna change this line of code here to that, and we're going to say bill amount plus tip amount like we had before. And now when we run this, if we enter $25 and 20% and say calculate tip, we now have a proper dollar sign on it and it looks much better. And it also, it, it looks like an actual currency, which it should be. So where do you go from here? Well, obviously you could submit this to the app store if you wanted to, but you probably wanna make it more future rich, maybe update the design, make it actually have some sort of a design. Uh, but some things that you'd wanna look at is when I click on, when I click away from these text fields, I can't get away from them. So if I had other things underneath this keyboard, it's gone. I don't know where it is and I can't do anything about it. So I left all the code for this project in the description. I put it all on GitHub. You can pull the code uh, as a zip file or you know pull the repository, whatever you want. And I'd like to see you guys try to uh, you know add some more to this. And one of the things to look at is how do you make the keyboard disappear? Uh, like I mentioned, use Stack Overflow, uh, use the Apple Developer Guides, and ask questions in the comments. But here you have a complete application from start to finish, from opening Xcode, creating the project, setting up our view, and writing our code, we have a tip calculator from start to finish. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this, you learned something, you're excited to build apps, uh, or you're just curious you know, what the next steps are and how you can expand from here. If you have any questions or you get stuck on anything, leave a comment below. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll catch you in the next video.